Good morning guys, it is Monday, September 18th, and as you can see, I am still here at home in Indiana. I have not gone back to Florida yet because I've been trying to wait out the traffic, wait out until all the power is restored back in the area because the last thing I want to do is either one, go back, have no air conditioning and no power, or two, go back and run into traffic that made me hate my life when I was traveling up here. So in about two or three days, I will be going back. But for now, just enjoying time with friends and family here in Indiana. So about to get some emails answered real quick, eat a quick meal, and then I'm going up into town to meet my mom at the mall. I think we're going to shop or do something like that. But um, nonetheless, about to get some work done. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Yeah, I'm going to the left. Alright guys, so just got done at finish line, picked up a brand new pair of shoes right here. If you guys want to know which pair of shoes I picked out, that's why you guys follow me on Snapchat because I didn't record in there, but I did put on Snapchat which pair of shoes I went and shopped for. I had three options and then which one I actually picked out, but just picked up some Chick-fil-A to eat right now. Got an eight piece and a Chick-fil-A sandwich plain, uh, so like no pickles, no butter, anything like that. And then an eight piece didn't get waffle fries or a meal because it's just a lot cheaper if you get a glass of water so I'm uh, gonna finish up this meal head home and then I'll see you guys there all right so just got here to the gym finishing up my pre-workout right now just a scoop of the gas sport nitro flex I'm gonna head inside and hit arms gonna do all bicep exercises then all tricep exercises a lot of times especially recently I've been going bicep tricep bicep tricep Today, I'm just going to fully exhaust my biceps and then get into tricep work afterwards. So let's head inside, I'll take you guys through this workout. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the commentary over this arm workout. And like I said, I'm just going to do all biceps and then triceps. I have three exercises for biceps that I'm gonna be doing and then two exercises for triceps. Now you might be thinking, three exercises for biceps and two exercises for triceps, Treg, that is not enough. You're gonna be needing to do way more exercises to fully exhaust your arms. You can't just do five exercises well. Let me tell you that when you're doing a bicep or tricep or chest or whatever workout, unless you're specifically targeting like an upper chest or a brachialis in your bicep or a specific little muscle like that, for the most part, your body is not necessarily, your muscles are not necessarily going to know whether or not you're doing some crazy exercise, whether it's exercise A, B, C, or D. If you're hitting that muscle, you're hitting that muscle and your body is going to recognize that. So it's not necessarily going to know if you're switching a bunch of exercises or if you're just doing one exercise for 20 sets. Your biceps, your triceps, whatever muscle is only going to recognize the volume that you're hitting it with. So for all of these exercises that you see me doing today, all of these are for a minimum of five sets on a couple of them. The first exercise with the straight bar curls and then this exercise in particular, I did six exercises of and each exercise I'm doing between 10 to 15 reps. This one, I'm doing more towards the 15 and really squeezing. I don't have a lot of weight on this, but I'm really focusing on the squeeze at the top and the eccentric, which is the lowering of the weight afterwards. This is a set actually. This exercise is one that I leaned more towards the 10 rep range because it is a little bit heavier. I have two 45 pound plates tied around my waist. So if I'm doing more towards 15, I would have to lower that weight and weighted dips in my opinion is my favorite exercise for building thickness and strength in my triceps. So I'm going to focus on going heavier and lowering that rep range to roughly right around eight to 10 reps, even though today's workout, I went more towards 10. Now this is my final exercise. This is another one actually that I did six or six reps, uh, six reps, six sets of, and again, this one was more towards the 15 rep range, but these were the five exercises that I did today on this 
arm workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them. I have one more clip at the end of this video. Enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, so just finished up that workout, biceps and triceps, great arm workout today, like stupid pump, probably one of the best, like simply arm workouts that I've had in a while. And it felt so good just to hit like as bodybuilding of a workout as possible because this weekend, this past weekend, I was in Indianapolis visiting a friend of mine who you guys have seen on the channel a couple times, Sarah Colby. Um, and she is very into CrossFit. So I figured while I'm back in town, I would go visit her and also try something new, which was CrossFit. I went and I actually did a wad. And I am going to admit, I've spent many times, like I've done it many times, I've been guilty of it, uh, talking crap about CrossFit because it's just kind of the popular thing to do. Oh, that's cross, whatever. So a lot of people talk crap about CrossFit. So I was like, I'll try it. I've done all of these, like all the exercises in our workout, I've done before. I've done power cleans, I've done front squats, I've done deadlifts, I've done pull-ups, I've done all of those things. I ran track in high school, so I'm used to those 200 meter runs. I've done sled pushes when I, when I played football. Like, I have done all these exercises. So CrossFit, bring it on. And I went and I did it. And what it was, it was a partner workout, and there were two workouts, it was a double workout day. So I knew that I would be challenged cardio-wise, but um, all the actual exercises, I thought I'd just be able to knock out no problem. The exercise, the workouts was, uh, it was a 200 meter run. And you come inside, you do uh, these deadlifts into upright rows, which weren't bad. Then you go into burpees, you jump over the bar with some burpees and you go do these battle rope slams, a sled push, and then you repeat that. You do that for 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible. Then you get a five minute break. Then you go into three rounds of pull-ups, power cleans, front squats, and push jerks, and then you finish with a 2,000 meter row. Now, I only filmed a little bit of the first 12 minutes of what we did because I got to a point where I was at the verge of throwing up. I had not been challenged as much as I was during that CrossFit workout since probably some workouts that we did when I played football because it was just so balls to the wall with no breaks and it was just a completely new way of training and part of me loved it. I love pushing myself but another part of me I felt so weak and vulnerable because uh, the Vince Lombardi quote where he says uh, it's like fatigue will make cowards of us all. That was so true. All of these people in there, a lot of like, middle aged women were in there doing these workouts without needing breaks and I was bent over sucking air over like I was dead when I was doing my front squats I almost threw up I had to literally take a break like a 30 second break and kind of gather myself because I was almost like throwing up and I have not done that in years like I have not pushed myself to that point or had a workout like get me to that point in many many years and it was very humbling to try out that new training style and it completely put me in an uncomfortable position. But I feel like it made me so much stronger. It made me so much more aware of a completely different training style. Do I like CrossFit? Absolutely not. It's way too much cardio for me. Um, and it's just not my favorite style of training. But I will say I will never ever talk crap about CrossFit again because there were so many aspects of it that I really, really loved. I loved how it did push you. I love how you can compete with a clock, how you have that community atmosphere. That was my number one thing I loved. I loved how everybody was there pushing each other and they're encouraging each other. That was my favorite part. Shout out to uh, CrossFit BBZ in Westfield, Indianapolis, like in Westfield, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. Like you guys are awesome there. I absolutely loved the atmosphere and that was my favorite part of CrossFit. So if you guys like don't necessarily talk crap about uh, powerlifting, uh, bodybuilding, CrossFit, whatever style of training gets you into the gym and keeps you consistent and pushing yourself and getting healthier, that's the type of like that's the type of training you should do. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. That's kind of the point I wanted to make. It doesn't matter if you're going in there and you're doing bicep curls, if you're in there and you're jogging and running, if you're in there doing CrossFit or squats or deadlifts, whatever is getting you in the gym, making you healthier, getting you to become the strongest, healthiest, best, like best version of yourself, 
that is key. So it doesn't matter what like what type of training you're in there doing as long as you're training. Because getting better, getting stronger, getting healthier, and staying fit is what it's all about. So whether it's CrossFit, whether it's bodybuilding, whatever style of training it is, if you love it, go after it. Cha like, do your absolute best in it. CrossFit wasn't for me. It pushed me in an entirely new level. I gained so much respect for that sport. Like when they talk about the people that win the CrossFit games as the fittest man on earth or the fittest woman on earth, that's a fact because those people are not only putting up impressive weights, they're doing it against the clock and they are in fantastic shape. So shout out to every single person that does CrossFit, but also shout out to every person that does bodybuilding or powerlifting or whatever because you guys are fantastic. You guys are consistent. You guys are in there getting better and that's what it's all about. So I just wanted to end the video by talking to you guys about fitness because that's what it's all about. It's not about whatever type of training you kind of fit into because this world anymore has become so divisive. You're either right or you're left. You're bodybuilding, CrossFit, you're whatever. Like the world is so divisive. How about this fitness world? come together and just celebrate becoming healthier. It doesn't matter how you become healthier. It doesn't matter how you become stronger. As long as you're bettering yourself, like seriously, let's all come together and celebrate that because there's too, there's too much division in this world. There's too much conflict that the world of fitness should be something that brings people together. And that's really why I fell in love with CrossFit this weekend. Am I gonna do it again? Probably not, it sucked. Uh, but I loved the community aspect of it and it just really opened my eyes to uh, what fitness is really all about. But I just wanted to end the video with that. If you guys have an opportunity to try a new training style, if you're a CrossFitter, try powerlifting. If you're a bodybuilder, try CrossFit. Whatever, try something new today. Become uncomfortable in a new situation and push yourself to become the best version of you. But that's going to end the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.